So maybe you got your shiny new Pixel 3 and 3 XL and you're trying to find some helpful tips and tricks about your phone, but you've gone through two or three videos and you really haven't found anything all that interesting. Well, hopefully I can help change that for you. Here are my top 10 Google Pixel 3 and 3 XL tips, hidden and advanced features, especially for those of you who are iPhone switchers or novice users. So yes, if you are a diehard nerdy Android fan like me, you may know some of these things, you may not. So let's find out right after this. Hey friends, this is Brandon here with This Is Tech Today, your source for honest tech reviews, the news, and my views. And if you haven't already, would you please subscribe and hit that bell icon to be notified of when I post a new video. I have a ton of Pixel 3 and 3XL videos coming out, so I'd love to have you. I'd really appreciate it. Okay, so this first tip is the first thing that I do on every single Android device that I get. It may be a bit scary for you if you haven't done something like this before, but I promise you, it'll be okay. So what we're going to do is activate the developer mode and that'll open up a few things for us. Okay, so what you'll do is you'll swipe down from the notification shade, do it twice, and there's this little gear icon right here. Click on that, click on system, and then click on about phone and go all the way to the bottom where you see build number and click on that a few times until it says you're a developer or ask for you to put in your pin. And it has this little notification, they call that a toast notification at the bottom, it says that you're now a developer. Go back and then click on this advanced one right here. And then there's a developer options there. Now this is my favorite change here. If you go all the way down to the animations, so it's under drawing, let's first look at what the screens look like when you get out of it. See that animation like that? That's how fast it moves. Now, if you go to the animation scale, you click on it and you make it 0.5 for every single one of them, it'll make your phone feel really nice and snappy. See how fast that is? Isn't that nice? I'm a big fan of this. So now that we're in this developer window, we can talk about this whole notch business that's uh, going on here with the 3XL. So if you don't have the 3, you may not have to worry about this. Well, you don't have to stay out of the loop. Just go down a little bit more from that animation thing, go to display cutout and do double cutout. And then you can have a notch at the bottom too. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay, so you can actually go in there, you can choose hide, and it'll hide the notch. It's interesting, if you have a Pixel 2 XL, it's the same like height difference. But what's a bummer is that your notifications are not being used up there. So even though it's an OLED screen and that actually looks really good, you're not gaining that extra real estate by having the time and all those things up there. So there is another way to hide this notch. So let's go back to device default, and let's go to the Play Store. If you go to the Play Store, there's a app called Nacho Notch. So let's go there and download it, click on open. Okay, now that you've installed it, go ahead and swipe down, swipe down again, and there's just a little edit or pencil icon, click on that, and then you'll see at the bottom, hide notch. Go ahead and hold it and drag it up. And now it's in your quick toggle. So that's an extra little tip in there if you didn't know about it, and let's go back. And then you can actually click on hide notch and you can see that the notch is being hidden now but your icons are up there so that's really nice looks like it's supposed to be that way and if you want to if you want to go into the settings you can hold down on that little icon there and it'll take you to these extra settings so it'll allow you to round out the corner so it looks natural and i think that looks pretty good but unfortunately it has this little notch icon that's up there all the time but here's what i'll say if you don't really like the notch just try using it without turning it off for a whole week and I promise you, you'll adapt to it, it won't be that bad. I trust that you are a highly adaptable person like the rest of us. And plus, who doesn't wanna see that nice smile every now and then? <laughs> Tip number three, we're gonna go to the Play Store and then we'll type in Nova Launcher and then you'll download that. So once you have Nova Launcher installed, go ahead and hold down on your screen and click on Widgets and then go down to Nova Launcher and then there's this one called Activities. Go ahead and hold down on that and drag it onto the screen. Now that you've dragged it on there, it'll bring up this screen of different options. And then what you'll want to do is scroll all the way down to System UI Tuner, or System UI. So once you click on that, it'll give you a bunch of different options. Just choose the System UI Demo Mode. Now you've entered into a secret menu that used to be easy to find, but now it's kind of hard to find. So it says fun for some, but not for all. So don't worry about this. You're not gonna break anything, but go ahead and hit Got It. And then in Status Bar, if you click on that, You'll see an option at the bottom first to add seconds to your clock, which I absolutely love. That's a, a big thing for me. But you can also 
toggle on and off different icons. So if I don't want the cast one there, I can just check that one and it goes away. It clears up that navigation bar. All right, this next one's pretty simple. Normally, when you wanna get to your settings, you have to swipe down twice. But what you can do is get your two fingers and just swipe down from the top and it'll go straight to those settings. All right, tip number five. When you go into your settings, we'll do that two fingers swipe down, go to the gear icon and go to display. And then you can go into advanced and then there's this font size and then display size. So font size, you can change it. So I like having mine really tiny. And then you can change your display size. This one's a little bit more intensive, so it tends to lag whenever I go into this area, but overall the phone has not lagged, just this one area. And you can make it bigger, so say it's harder for you to read certain things, or you can make it smaller. So I like mine really small. And then you can see so much more on your screen, it's kind of nice. But for the sake of this tutorial, I'll put it back to default so you can see everything nice and clear. Tip number six is the fast app switcher. So essentially what this means is if you are in one app and you wanna go back to the last one you're in, all you have to do is get your finger and click swipe right. And it'll go to your last app. Or you can slide a little bit more to go to your different apps. So this is a new feature an Android 9 Pie. Tip number seven, and speaking of the gestures and the swiping motions, if you swipe up once, you have this little icon of the app. If you click on it, it'll give you the option to click on split screen. And this is really cool. So say you have an email and there's a website that you're looking at and you're trying to take some notes, you could do that. And you can see both of the apps at once. And you can drag and drop, or just drag it all the way up and it'll replace the last app. It's really great. Okay, so remember those settings that we're talking about? Let's go back to them. Click that gear icon and then click on security and location and scroll all the way to the bottom and click on advanced. And there's this option at the very bottom called screen pinning. Click on that and turn it on. Go to the app that you want. So say it's YouTube, but if you swipe up and you click on that icon, there's this new icon there called pin. So now that you've clicked on it, the screen is pinned and you can't get out of it. You're just using the app. So this is really great if you have kids and you just want them to look at things on YouTube or play a game, or maybe someone just wants to borrow your phone and you don't want them to go snooping around. So this is really great. So if you wanna get out though, you just have to hit back in the pill icon to get out. And then it asks for your passcode. It's really nice. So one of the best things about using a Pixel phone is the Google Assistant. It's just integrated so well into the phone. And yes, it works on other Android devices, but it's just different on a Pixel device. So one thing about using the Google Assistant is that you can activate it with your voice by saying, okay, Google, but sometimes saying okay is a little bit clunky. So I'll say it a different way. I'll say, oh, hey, Google and it'll activate. It's really hearing that A Google part. So maybe it'll take out the clunk. And then finally, there are certain reminders that can be based upon your location. So if you set up your home address and your work address in the Google Assistant, or you even just give a grocery store, you can remind yourself once you get there. Remind me to get milk when I get to the grocery store. Okay, I'll remind you when you get to a grocery store. So it just knows. It's that easy. It's super cool. So I hope this helped out. If you have any other tips that you have that I may not have covered or that you just love, go ahead and leave a comment down below and also join the This Is Tech Today community on Discord. There's a link down below in the description. I would really appreciate if you shared this with others, especially if you have um, that mom or that grandma that just got her new phone and you don't really want to teach her how to do it, let Brandon do it. And if you haven't already subscribed and hit that bell icon, I would really appreciate if you did that as well. I have a ton of Pixel 3 and 3XL videos coming up. So I'll see you then. Thanks for watching. This is Tech Today. Until next time.